Hoo-ha! Time for Homer to prove why she's called the Sword of Edens. <laughs> Hello guys, Celeviathan here, and welcome back to another reaction of Eden Zero Season 2. We're on Episode 8, and yo, the battles are starting, guys. The action is here. Basically, now we gotta go and save Labilia, whereas, you know, the shining stars over here of the Edens here are basically going to go up against the Element 4, and they were, they were, they were doing some good, good work there, man. They were really proving themselves to be a lot, um, a lot stronger than them. Um, we had a little bit of Master Noah coming in, exposing that he was a double agent all along, trying to take down Un dead joe which <laughs> oh my god like is dragon joe an immortal like at that point i'm like this guy's way too op he really is it was a good it was a good um episode to kind of get us set it up and it looks as though that um we're gonna be going more into the fights this episode so i am excited guys i am um we're not gonna waste any time let's just get started here don't forget to like share and subscribe guys turn on notifications down below so you know when i upload next and drop some comments in the comment section down below on your thoughts on this episode and the reaction as a whole guys i love to read it but we're not gonna waste time here let's get started with eden zero season two episode eight the sword of edens let's go truthfully though uh this whole jack and joe conflict um i was thinking it might take all the way up to the rest of the season but i'm thinking it might also be like getting into like its conclusion here as well Why is Moscow even here, man? <laughs> he brings nothing to the team, nothing. Ooh, nice gravity windmill. Ooh, man, this guy's about to feel some a new type of pleasure, man. <laughs> Being the one who's tortured this damn masochist, I swear. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think it was gonna work on her since she was like a bot, but I guess this ether gear can work on her. <laughs> nah, no, please stop. We don't want her in that position. <laughs> chill out, Daichi, chill out. Nah, nah. She's gonna turn this around on him very easily. Very easily. You think you can really out torture sister? Nah, nah. Get a little bit foolhardy here. Oh, the perfect torture. <laughs> His first mistake was trying to get into a torture contest with sister. あなた。
You need to find a reason to fight. If you don't know, then why are you attacking us right now? Come on, Laguna. Come on. You know, Witch is really teaching him some real lessons here. Nah, she's right, man. She's right. Something changed majorly here. Crazy, yo, crazy. Even even if the timeline has changed, we still ended up here for our battle with her. Very intriguing. Oh,めえ、その髪型どうした? <laughs> The same conversation still came up. Oh yeah, I forgot Rebecca didn't hear this conversation before. That's exactly what I was thinking, Shike. <laughs> So they're saying that in the past or the original past that Wise was in, his arm got cut off already. So are we trying to say that that's something that's always going to happen to him? That he's always going to lose his arm? Because originally, like, you know, with Fi cutting his arm off, that would have been, like, um, kind of like the, the timeline kind of correcting itself, right? Whereas, like, the original uh, Wise doesn't have an arm, so then this Wise over here shouldn't have an arm. So you're trying to tell me that that's always going to happen at some point? Right, we're just getting we're just getting into different situations about how he's going to lose his arm. Oh no, I don't know. This is this is intriguing. This is very intriguing. I like this this little bit of history here. It's adding a little bit more nuance to a lot of this time travel, time yuimi crap. I knew DJ Zombie was Draken Joe! DJ Draken Joe? Oh no! Oh my god, so that kind of makes sense now, right? As to why he told him to cut his arm off. There's Draken Joe! ドラッケン城ゾンビだ。yeah, that's very interesting. What exactly is he trying to do here, man? Oh, so he needs her help. Okay, so his immortality is waning. That's why he wants to earn her power. Okay. Man, that thing truly is like a lightsaber. <laughs> oh, 
Yo, she's really overpowering Sylph here. Showing her dominance. I freaking knew that thing had something to do with her personality. Every time it kept doing eh, eh, eh. Oh my god, are you trying to tell me that Jacken is just using them? Maybe not Daichi and Fi, but it looks as though Laguna and Sylph here are forced to be a part of his, his, his team here. She overpowered the shit out of her. They didn't stand a chance. None of them stood a chance. They got demolished by the shining stars of Eden. Let's go, all of them. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no, Jack and Joe starting to realize that she's using her power. Oh, that's not a good, that's not good, that's not good. Oh, now he's gonna be able to make some countermeasures for it. What is Lobelia have cooking up here, man? Oh, that was that was that girl who was with um, a master Noah, right? The blonde one, the one we saw in the opening. Ooh, we that was some good battles right there, man. The shining stars really asserted their dominance against the element four there. I love that. Like even with like um, Sylph over there getting like overpowered like crazy, it seems as though like Rack and Joe was forcing her to to basically help him out. It seemed, same thing with Laguna as well. Like a lot of them didn't seem like they they were with Jack and Joe out of their own free will, right? It was great seeing Homer really overpower her and dominate her like crazy. I like that. That fight was great. It showed it showed Homer's powers like crazy as the Sword of Edens and um really showed that you really shouldn't mess with her honestly that little bit of a history lesson that Sibber was giving us where he was talking about DJ zombie and how DJ zombie was the one who uh, cut off wise's arm in his original timeline now that we learned that DJ zombie was Jack and Joe as I was assuming there it seemed as though that like um, the arm cutting off thing was a staple of what he usually does right now I don't know if, uh, if wise is gonna get his arm cut off in this new timeline I don't know if that's something that's going to be set because like I know with a lot of timeline um, timeline rules sometimes there's certain things that will always happen even if you avoid it but very intriguing now that we learned that he was over 200 years old, Drak and Joe, and now that he's realizing that the cat power was used, it's gonna be a pretty bitty scary situation. So he's if he knows that Rebecca uh, reset the timeline, that's not good. But yeah, honestly, great episode, great episode, guys. Can't wait for the next one. I think the title for the next one was called Shiki vs. Drak and Joe, so we get in some more action, guys. I, I am excited, but for this one, I'll see you guys around. Take care and... Have yourselves a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.